Hello, O2 here. Look what this blockhead has. Block out. EA Sports. Oh, wrong game. So yeah, back in the day, EA actually did make games besides Madden and some stupid first-person shooter, whatever they do these days. But yeah. So this is Blockout on the Japanese Sega Mega Drive. It's a 3D Tetris knockoff from what I'm seeing. So just like in Tetris, you see pieces of blocks falling down many shapes. Except falling from the top, you actually falls from the front in 3D. I gotta admit, the graphics actually look pretty damn cool. But the problem is, is the controls. They take a lot of time to get used to, that's for sure. The D-pad moves the pieces around, of course. But each button, A, B, and C, makes you rotate the block in all sorts of different directions. And the start button makes the block fall down. This is the only Sega Mega Drive Genesis game, whatever you want to call it, that actually has a start button as an action button. So if you have bladder problems, you're constantly peeing or pooping. Yeah, good luck playing this. You can't interrupt the game. You better be bringing a big bottle with you just to pee in while you're playing this game. Oh yeah, unlike Tetris, you don't make blocks disappear by creating lines. You gotta fill an entire square by one color. See that gauge on the left column? That's how tall your stack is. So if it goes to the very top, you're done. Besides the title screen, there's no music in this game at all. You're gonna be hearing According to the back of this box, there's actually a two-player versus mode. But yeah, good luck having someone play this with you. So, do I recommend Blockout? Well, if you love puzzle games, give us a shot. Should be very cheap, but I warn you, the controls take time to get used to. So, if you're easily frustrated, steer clear away. Just stick with columns or Puyo Puyo. But if you're a masochist like I am, Blockout is for you. Thank you for watching this quick review. Be sure to like and subscribe. More retro content to come. See ya.